So today we've been called out to a buffalo cow which has a big wound on the back leg near the base of the tail. The bush is really thick and it's very difficult to find, uh, find these buffalo. Eventually we did locate her and she was in a group of about seven or eight animals. So once we got them into the open area, a dart was prepared and, uh, and a dart was placed in the cow. After a few minutes, um, you can see that the cow is starting to lag behind the group. Um, she's the one right at the back and starting to do the hopping and slower movements. And it wasn't long after this that she started slowing down enough for the group to leave her and for us to then start working with her. You can see here that she's now walking, not really worried about where the rest of the group is going. Chopper managed to chase the rest of the group off. Um, and you'll see that she walks, uh, stays in the road and then um, has a little bit of a stumble but regains her footing again and walks a little bit further off the road to go and lie down in some shade. When I touched her she, she got up. In the time that she got up you can actually walk them and move them to where you want them and where you want to work with them. You need uh, preferably two people, one on the tail and one on the horns. Um, in this case, uh, the other people took a little while to come in, but uh, eventually we managed to get her to a point where we could stop her, um, pick her head up, um, break her, um, keep the brakes on by holding onto the tail, and then eventually they lie down. The wound was flushed with a chlorhexidine solution yeah, and deep rided and cleaned really well. And uh, as you can see, the wound consisted of three punctures through the skin, um, which were maggot infested, probably initiated um, by necrotizing tick bites um, and then maggot infestations. Once the wound was treated and the cow was injected, she was marked with a yellow marker. And this allows us to identify her from a distance from the ground um, in order to try and uh, observe and keep a close check on her in the next two weeks or so, by which stage the wound should be healed. Once we're ready to wake up, we make sure that the helicopter is running and ready to take off. Um, so when she does get up, or if she does get up and move towards the helicopter, that it can get off the ground and get out of the way. In this case, uh, when she started moving her head, the helicopter took off and disappeared and she then um, got up really smoothly and easily and moved off into the bush.